Hi everybody, this is Cheryl here. Um, I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Um, hopefully I can do this in one video. This is a request that's kind of a follow-up on the this little bit of a tutorial I did on can my mixes be used in nail polish. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm, I again, I'm using the, the super dry that I get from the Dollar Tree. Again, I probably would not use a quick drying, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a quick drying uh, polish just because it just, it, when you're painting your nails with stuff that has, you know, chunky glitter in it, you kind of want to lay it around nicely. And my opinion is you don't want it to dry too fast. Um, so the only reason I'm using the super dry is because I have a lot of them just laying around. So <laughs> this is what I got. Um, anyway, so this is, this is just kind of what I do. Um, I'm going to just, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to try to show you here. Um, if you're going to add glitter you first of all you gotta make sure it's solvent resistant it's not gonna bleed um like i said the glitters that i carry they they don't bleed they they work well in acrylic gel and nail polish um there's several ways to do it but um as far as adding it um into a nail polish to make nail polish this is this is the uh, all i'm really going to talk about um to keep the video as short as possible so anyway i buy these little cups um i got a bunch of them on ebay i don't know what I paid for these. I think I got like a dozen of them for a buck. So they, they bend and you can pour. So first of all, you got a, a full bottle. Um, I'm going to pour some of it out and I got to try to work a little faster because um, polish will dry and get thick. So um, let's pour a little bit more of that. So, um, all right, I emptied it about halfway and then I bought these little funnels. Um, on, on eBay too. This one has junk in it. I must have used it. So I'm going to get a different one. Um, so then what I do is I just take the little funnel and put it there. And now on on my store I advertise my mixes and I really should change it. Um, I advertise them as a half a teaspoon. There's a definitely a full teaspoon in every one of my bags. In fact, some bags probably have a teaspoon and a half. Some probably even have two teaspoons in there. Um, I don't know why I've never changed it, but this is a, definitely a teaspoon, maybe more. Um, so there's half, well, maybe a little more than half in there. I wanted, I was curious to see how the holographic one would look in there. This is my mix called In The Club. It's got neons in there and the base is a holographic silver so what i'm going to do and this is kind of pain in the butt because it's so tiny to do this so i'm going to open the bag and i'm just going to start pouring it in the funnel and it's not all going to pour in there it's going to just sit so you just take a toothpick and just start pushing it in um now your one question to me um, was, how much glitter do you put in? Um, well, there's really no answer for that. I guess it's whatever you like. Um, you don't want to put too much. You don't have it too thick because if it's too thick, then, yeah, you're going to get your br uh, the brush all gummed up and whatnot because it's just too much glitter and not enough polish. Um, so this way, you know, if you dump half out and you put about, like I say, this is, I guess you'd say a teaspoon's worth, maybe a little more than a teaspoon's worth of glitter mix in here. Um, you just add back as you shake, um, you know, your polish just to kind of see the thickness and, and, and how you like it or how thick you want the, the stuff to go on. I mean, um. Like I said, these have the the dots and whatnot. Um, so you want to place them and you know make it look nice and and whatever. So I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this all in here. It's going a little slower than I had hoped. Um, <laughs> so bear with me here, people. I'm sorry. Um, so anyway, and you want to add, um, they've got the alligator beads that you put in here to help mix everything all up. 
Um, if you can't find those, I mean, you can find those on eBay. You can find them in a lot of different places. Um, honestly, I just went to Walmart and bought some BBs. I have boys at home. They're all young men, <laughs> you know, old teenagers. So we have plenty of BBs around here. So I just use BBs. They work just the same as the alligator beads. I drop usually two of them in there. Um, cause you're going to want to be able to, you know, mix everything cause glitter will settle, you know, it'll settle to the bottom. Um, and you want to have something to mix that. So, um, so I just have a couple of them in here, just BBs. I'm going to drop two regular BBs and I'm going to take my brush, put it in there. Now this is, as you can see, it's. That's actually a pretty good ratio there. Um, I probably wouldn't add any more nail polish. Oops, sorry. Any more nail polish back to that. But um, I'm just shaking it here. And uh, let's see here. And there you go. Um, you can always add more polish back in there if you want. But honestly, I'm liking that consistency. Um, I'm going to be right back. I thought I had a practice nail sitting here. So I'm going to make this two videos and I'm going to be right back and test this out on a practice nail. And then I have a lighter mix here too that I was going to try. And then I have my 004 cut that I wanted to show how this looks, which is awesome stuff. So I will be back, um, to do part two or maybe I'll add this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I'll be back in a little bit. Let me let me do what I got to do. So hang on. All right. Hi, I'm back. So I guess this is part two. Maybe I'll put it all in one. We'll see. So <laughs> anyway, um, I grabbed some, some tips. These are number zeros. They don't fit me. Um, so anyway, I just dumped in um, the teaspoon size of the holographic. I'm shaking the bottle here. Of the holographic in the club mix. You can see with about a little more than half, I had a little bit more half um, full of clear polish to that amount of um, teaspoon size of glitter mix. Um, I'm going to try that out on, on here. I'm just shaking it. Try it out. This is just a white tip. It's got a nice, it's nice and runny. And this is what I mean about using a quick dry. Um, you got, you know, these little glitter pieces and you want to lay them, you know, where you want them or whatnot. So if it's a quick dry, you got to kind of work faster or it'll get clumpy. Um, so as you can, I hope you can see. I don't know if it was in the frame, but anyway, um, you can see that is nice. That was one coat. It laid on really nicely. Um, and that was with, um, I want to say it was a little more than half of the clear polish. And then I used one bag of glitter mix. Um, I put a little bit, and of course it's still wet and I touched it, so it's messed up. I put a little bit of this, uh, Sinful Colors, uh, Cinderella on this tip. It was what was laying around. So, um, again... It's, it's laying very nicely, even though it is a, um, a quick dry, it's, it's nice, you know, it's not a suspension polish either. So that's the other thing, you know, you got to kind of keep shaking it to get all the little, the, the good stuff up. So I'm just trying to, yeah, there you go. Get some of the neon things. So I guess the answer would be, okay, so this is a, what is this, a, 0.47 ounce, 14 milliliter bottle. Um, it was a little more than half. Um, and I put one bag of my, you know, teaspoon size worth of glitter in there. Um, and that was good. I did not re-add what I dumped out. So, and look at that. That is gorgeous with just that one coat. Um, I'm going to come back to this one. This is one coat on just the white tip. Now I'm going to put on a second coat. 
And that is really beautiful. So um, I guess there's your answer. Um, it's not mucking up the brush. The brush looks fine. You can see the brush looks very nice. And this is even with a fast dry. So um, it's, it's looking really good. So let me move on because I was curious. Um, again, same same bottle. This is a pretty big size bottle, though. So I mean, if you get a smaller bottle, you know, keep in mind this is the 0.47. Um, I'm gonna dump because you can always add back. You can't take away. So t you know, dump out. Even if you're gonna dump out more, because like I said, you cannot. You know. You're, you're kind of stuck. So, all right, I want to try a lighter one. This is my one of my newer mixes. It's called Neon Explosion. This is an iridescent with, with neon pieces in it. So I want to see. I'm going to get a different thing because I think there's still some holo in that funnel. i got to wash it out. So, all right, I want to just, I'm curious how... Because I don't do much nail polish. Like I said, I'm not big on nail polish on myself because um, for me, I don't know. I I think I mentioned in one of my other videos, I tend to pick a lot at my nails. Um, and I, I also, I just prefer them longer. So, and I, I can't grow my natural nails out. They just, I've always struggled with that. I don't know, maybe it has to do with picking them. I I'm a pain in the butt. I'm my worst enemy here. Um, this one is struggling going in because I have some bigger spangles in here. And this is a tiny, tiny funnel. Um, I have like little stars in here. And they don't want to go through that. They don't want to go through that hole. Um, yeah, these are those hollowed out stars. Um, they're going through, but they're giving me trouble. Um, let's see here. I wish there was an easier way to do this, but um, so far, this is the easiest way I could find. Of course, I didn't take into consideration that I do have those hollow, uh, there's, oh, there's hearts, they're hearts, hollow hearts, hollowed out hearts, and one is on my thumb, you can see it, um, yeah, they don't want to fit through that little bitty hole in the funnel, come on, I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long, <laughs> um, I may have to abort and grab a mix that does not have these, or, you know what, I tell you what, this is what I'm going to do, Let's try not to make it. Well, yeah, I will make a mess with, with this, but let's see. Uh, it's just glitter. We can clean it up, right? I just don't like getting it around the edge of the bottle. So that's why I, I use a funnel because, I mean, you get it around the edge of the bottle. It just It's just a mess. So that's just me. I'm a little picky. A little bit about me coming out. OCD. Kind of clean freak. So. As I'm spending two hours dumping glitter in a tiny little hole here. Let's see here. Making a mess. I guess you could just wipe that off. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. I guess, um. You guys can be here to witness even my my fails, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. I forgot to put the beads in there. That's what was missing. So, all right. Grab two BBs. Stick the two BBs in. Um, give it a good shake. Grab a nail. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Look at that. The difference between the 
So you can see how that's settling now on the, the holographic ones. So you can see where it's breaking up. So I'd say this would be a, a safe consistency where you have a little bit of, you know, on top there. You don't want it too thick. If it gets too thick, yeah, you're going to have gumming up problems on your brushes. So um, this one here, I'm going to test it out. I may actually add more polish too, but let me see how that looks. Ooh, that is so pretty. I don't know. I might leave it. Um, and this has the little caviar beads in it too. So um, those are laying nicely. Um, yeah, they're sticking nicely. Yeah, I think I might, I don't know if you said, I might add just a tad bit of polish back into this one because it was feeling like, I know you mentioned to me that your brushes goop up. This one felt a little goopy. I'm just going to put just a little bit. As I said, you can always add more. You can't take it away. So let's shake it up. <sighs> yeah, that already looks better in the bottle. So I mean, literally, I added a drop, just a drop of it. So, oh yeah, much, much thinner. No goopy in here now. So, okay, that is perfect. Um, I have another one of these nails here where I put the Sinful Colors um, Cinderella on. And I'm going to paint that on. And of course, I just, for crying out loud, I am not having a good night here. Um, and this bag was the same, you know, it was a half, or not a half. See, that's why I said I got to fix that. I advertise them as a half teaspoon. These are not half, these are full teaspoon sizes. So, full teaspoon to half a bottle. Um, seems to be the good um, mix ratio here. So this is really cool. It almost kind of looks like a, I don't know, a circus clown or something. I don't know, with the blue background. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. Um, let's put our second coat on just the plain, plain nail. So I hope this, this answered your question. You know, of course, if you're going to use the suspension polishes and stuff, that's a little bit better um, because it, you know, keeps it suspended. This, of course, is going to separate. But, I mean, that's where you put the little little BBs in there and just shake it up. I mean, how hard is that? Um, and then in the mix I'm wearing on my, my nails here, this is two mixes in one. I, I used uh, Surprise and Fly Kite. It's in this bottle here. That's two mixes for a full bottle. Now, this I actually removed... <laughs> half filled it up and then I actually had to remove some because it was too much and then added more polish back so for two bags of my mixes for one polish um you got to kind of play with it because uh it just yeah <laughs> it was just too chunky so um I hope this answered your question um I made three beautiful polishes here um, let me know if you have any other questions. I just was going to touch, but it's already 11 minutes in. This is my 004, um, glitter. It's a lot, lot, lot finer. It's such a, it's like a powder. Um, if you put this in your polishes, just this, look at that. It's a, it's seriously, it's like a powder. Um, you know, no mixes or just this, you're going to have a really nice top coat. And you don't need much of this either because it is so fine. I mean, literally, like, that much. And this goes good also in your, like, body sprays. If you have the Bath & Body Works or the other, you know, scented sprays that, um, you know, that smell pretty. You put some of this in the pump and you can spray it on, on your body. You could put it in your hair spray, spray it in your hair, whatever. This makes really good. I had a lot of girls tell me this makes a great smoky eye for eyeshadow even. Um, but that's the 004. The, I've been using the base in here is 008008. Um, and then of course the chunkier, whoops, chunkier glitters. So anyway, I'm going to cut this off because I am much longer into here than I wanted. And now I have a huge mess to clean up. So <laughs> I hope this was helpful. I really do. Again, if you have any other questions or if I forgot anything, just let me know. Um, 
I have three cool polishes to play with now, so that'll be great. So anyway, thanks a bunch. Have a good night. Um, again, comment below if you have any questions. Or if you, any of you do this um, too and you have any suggestions. This was just, you know, trying it out. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.